It's Thursday. It's my birthday. Welcome to the vlog. Good morning. Welcome to day two, the second day of my birthday. Whoa, what happened the last weekend when it was your birthday too? Well, that was like, no, this is like my real birthday. This is the second day after my real birthday. Last weekend was just like... Pre-birthday? Pre Pre-birthday, that was good. Where we're celebrating with, of course, Duncan. Our first stop is I'm picking up some packages, very convenient for my day two <laughs> birthday from my dad's. Hello. Chance, I haven't seen you in a long time. You being good? Be nice. What are you doing? Good girl. We made it back home. I just want to address that these glasses are staying on because for the past two days, I woke up with like my eye being puffy and crusty and swollen. It's disgusting. I don't think it's a sty. Kurt thinks it's a sty. Um, I don't know what it is, but it hurts. So the glasses are staying on, but I want to open up these packages. The first thing I got was a um, skincare product. And I don't know why they came out of the box like that, but whatever. I've been using those skin treatments on my face and I really like them, so I ordered more. Um, the other two packages I got were from DHgate. They did take a long time to get here, so I was really, really excited to actually get them. Um, but I'm super bummed. The first pair I love, like the Yeezys, the slides, like they're perfect, the color's perfect. The size is perfect, everything is perfect. Um, but the Gucci ones, I'm so disappointed because they're definitely way too big for me. So, if anyone is interested and they want these Gucci shoes, let me know, because I think I'm going to be posting them, try to resell them, um, either on my Instagram or on my Poshmark somewhere, because unfortunately, they're just too big for me, and that makes me sad. But at least one pair worked, so I gotta look on the positive. Okay, we're off to run some errands. I left the glasses on, but I did my hair and I changed my outfit, so we're off. The first thing we did was pick up the dog. Ice. Now we're at Best Buy because Kurt's trying to buy a camera. So we'll see how that goes. Let's see what you bought. Boom. Very cool. What can we use this for? Pretty much everything. Underwater. Oh, can it's you get what? It's almost like a GoPro, but it's for a 360 camera. Well, I mean, not for it, it is a 360 camera. I think we can use this for real estate video. We could try and do that. What else? Um, behind the scenes. Behind the scenes. You can film yourself. Like, you can film everything around you and film also what's in front of you. So Reservoir, New Jersey, Reservoir, Philly, real estate. Maybe we can capture stuff behind the scenes with Omni Booth. I'm just trying to capture all the businesses in one with this thing, and then we can write it off. Our last and final stop of the night is Rita's Water Ice. Now, the last time we were here, I did not disclose the flavor that we were eating. I had birthday cake, Kurt had birthday cake ice cream gelato thing, which was disgusting. I liked mine, but I sampled a flavor of chocolate covered strawberry. 
and now I'm hoping they had that. I should have gotten it the last time, but if you know me, you know I can't make up my mind. And so last minute, the girl came to the window and the first thing I said was birthday cake. I don't know why I said it, but I did. But now I'm looking for the chocolate covered strawberry. In true Stephanie fashion, they did not have the chocolate covered strawberry. It's probably already discontinued. So I kind of made my own. I did a wild black cherry and I had them add chocolate chips to it. And then Kurt always gets some kind of Reese's, Blizzard, mudslide combination thing. It's with ice cream and I don't like it and he always gets me to taste it and I don't like it. but this I like. The raspberry, no, not raspberry. The black cherry with the chocolate chips. It gives me like a chocolate covered strawberry vibe. Good morning, it's Saturday morning. We're up and we're out by like 9.30, which I'm impressed with, but I didn't do my makeup. I did bring my makeup with me and I'm gonna attempt to do it in the car and I was saying to Kurt, I wish that I had like a car mount or somewhere to put the camera so you can like watch me. Not, not that you want to watch me do my makeup, but like you can see what's going on while we're sitting here in the car or like hear our ridiculous conversations or watch me put on my makeup. Um, but I don't. I literally hold the camera every time. It's kind of annoying. So I'm going to have to like improve that. But we're going to head down the shore. I'm going to do my makeup and... Kurt has his camera. Yay, so exciting. And because we're up early, we're in time for the Taco Bell breakfast. We've never, ever been able to get the Taco Bell breakfast. I've never had it before and I'm very excited about it. I got a bacon and cheese with an egg and a hash brown crunch wrap supreme. But what I didn't know is that you can substitute any breakfast meat so you can get sausage or even steak. And you can also get a breakfast quesadilla, but this is really good. If you're up early, which you probably are because you're not like me, I recommend this. We made it down the shore and I'm freezing. I hate this. I put a sweatshirt on. Kurt said I'm nuts, but it's warm, like the sun's out, but the wind down here is so much stronger than the wind back at home. So you get that cold breeze and I can't, I can't handle it. But I think we're gonna go for a walk on the boardwalk.
we just got back from our walk on the boardwalk and I feel like we found things on the Atlantic City boardwalk that we've like never noticed or saw before. So I like when Kurt and I take our little adventures, but we really went searching for like an old fashioned selfie stick. He just bought his camera, um, that little 360 camera and he wanted some kind of device to hold it. And the first thing we thought of was like a, a selfie stick. So they don't make them anymore. They're like nowhere to be found. We went to every little small mom and pop shop. We went to Five Below. We went anywhere that you can think of. We finally found one at this old cellular device store on the boardwalk, which is great. Except when we came home, my dad informed us that Lisa actually, right here in the condo, has a selfie stick. So this whole time, this selfie stick was right here on this shelf and we walked the entire boardwalk look, boardwalk looking for one. Kurt said it's okay, we went on a fun adventure. But I'm like, all we had to do was ask. It was right here. I don't know. We're off to dinner now. One more thing, before we head to dinner, Kurt is on another mission to find the new issue of Rolling Stone because some of the photos that he took are in it. So we just pulled up to a bookstore that's called BAM, Books A Million. It's like Barnes and Noble, but not. So we're gonna check it out. five bookstores later. Bookstores, like actual bookstores and no one had it. We came to Walmart and they have it. This was, this was an adventure, even bigger than the selfie stick adventure. We're here at the new Rolling Stone magazine, a photo I took of uh, Sunny from uh, Hey Five Six, which is in the Rolling Stone magazine. I mean, it's tiny, but it's in there. So it's been a while, it's been a few days. Um, it's taken me some time to come on here, to even vlog, to even want to vlog. Um, but after the fireworks, we got a call. And um, unfortunately, Isis is uh, no longer with us. I'm heartbroken. I'm especially heartbroken for Kurt. But we wanted to um, put in something in the vlog, something for her so that, you know, we could just show how much we loved her and how much she's gonna be missed. <sighs> 